Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, this is a nice fish again. The first sturgeon cast. With this, you're not really even supposed to feel for him, right? You're supposed to swing. Very soft bite. Like, you're not gonna have ever have a sturgeon. Dude, do you have? Yep. Are you yep. kidding me? Last time my truck bed. And after a little overland off-roading adventure, we're finally on the water. My name is Maverick. Welcome back to another episode of Mav, where we do everything outdoors. Today, I'm accompanied by Ace and his brother, and we're gonna be doing some fishing on this uh, this clear river. I'm not even really sure what this river's name is, but all I know is that it's home to some giant fish. Um, fish that I've been trying to target for a little while, and that would be the white sturgeon. White sturgeon are, they grow to be giant. So in this particular river, these fish can grow to be eight or nine feet long. I'm hoping to hook up on one of these monsters today. If I get one, I'm gonna get in the water with it, but let's get over to the spot and we'll uh, show you what we're using for bait. All right guys, this is Micah from Get Busy Living Videos. His channel's gonna be linked in the description below. And his brother Ace. And there's the river we're fishing, the Snake River. All right boys, let's get it done. The premise of this video is going to be a food chain challenge. I'm going to catch bait for my bait and then I'm gonna go after the sturgeon. So what these sturgeon are really going after, what they wanna eat are some nice fatty rainbow trout. Micah. Ace's brother bought some night crawlers, which I can use as backup. But right now I'm just gonna kind of scavenge around and see if I can't find any bugs or worms or anything that these trout might want to eat. If I found a grasshopper, that would be perfect. But so that's gonna be my first objective is to find some sort of bug or worm that I can put on my on a hook and catch a catch a trout. Hopefully, in the meantime, I don't find a rattlesnake. Well, there we have it, folks. Only took a couple rock flips, and I found myself a couple of worms. So now we're gonna see if I can't put these on a hook and catch myself some trout. All right, just so you guys know that I'm not cheating you, let me show you the worms that Micah bought. Okay, so these are the night crawlers that he bought. Like, look at how big these are, right? Look at the one that I found. All right, these two. Those are not store-bought worms, so in case you're wondering what that big bright orange ball is on the end of my line, it's actually a fly fishing indicator, so it's, it's a bobber, essentially. It is a bobber, but it's what I had in my fly gear, and I think it'll be good enough to show me when I got a bite. So those of you that are new to drift fishing, either with spinning gear or fly gear the best thing you can do is to let that drift go as long as possible you want the bait to be on the most natural path if your bait's moving around unnaturally with the currents and stuff you're gonna get a lot less bites not to mention if your bait gets pulled out of certain currents it's not going to stay close to the bottom even if uh, you have nice weight on there it might just go right over the top of trout wish my hook had like a blade on it or something just a little attractor i think it's just a little it's a small little piece of worm in a large sea. My <laughs> side over here seems a little more shot, like more like bouldery and stuff. Okay. So that might be a good place to float the worm around the boulders. Yeah. So, but I'm not. I'm just trying to not get snagged. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there goes your bobber. Your bobber just. Oh really? Me. Oh. Oh yeah, dude. Oh. Oh frick. Oh, I got one. You got him? I got... No, dude. Oh, no. Ah! Okay. All right. I got to calm. Calm down. 
awesome. That was crazy. So what happened there was my line got wrapped around like my hook keeper, and like so when I tried to reel, I just felt like a. It, it it didn't set the hook, and then I went to go reel, and the fish obviously wasn't on. So, oh, okay, I got way too excited there. So everybody, here's the. Uh, this is still the worm that I found. That trout took a little bit of it, but I think we got just enough left to catch one. Um, Micah was telling me that right here, and I'm seeing it now too. There's just a bunch of boulders, and the current's kind of coming from that dam that we were just fishing at, and it's brushing over these boulders, and it drops off right here. So that fish actually hit right on the drop off. Um, I'm hoping there's more there or that fish is still sticking around and we'll take the bait, but dang, that's just a tough pill to swallow that the uh, the first one got the best of me. Well, hopefully I have another bite here. Oh, fish on, fish on. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Oh no, ah! it's giant. No, it's a freaking trout, dude, it's giant. No way. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. Well, this is my first drop. There's more fish. Oh, rats. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. I'm really losing my drag. Oh, it was way too tight. Oh, this is a nice fish again. Come on, don't lose this one, Mav. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's big. Oh, mama. This is not a stalker either. He's fighting hard. Get on up here. You! Nice. I did it! <laughs> All right. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> Woo! All right, guys, there's the trout. I've got my bait. Now all that's left to do is cut this thing up and uh, use them for sturgeon bait. All right, well, I ended up cutting the head off that trout, rigging it up. Um, I just rigged it up, hooking it through the nostrils. Last time I went white sturgeon fishing, uh, we tied on all the bait, but we were also using smaller pieces of crappie and we were in much heavier current. So I think we should be fine here. It's kind of at a slow, slow roll down there. So I don't think we'll have to worry about the bait getting off. We found a worm, we caught a trout. We've got a trout head on a big hook right now, sitting on the bottom of the Snake River. And all that's left to do is wait for a giant white sturgeon to slurp it on up. So stick with us. Hopefully I can catch my first white sturgeon today. Yeah, she's bouncing. I've missed like four or five. You missed four? Yeah, like four bites. I can give it a go. I can give it a go. Do it. With this, you're not really even supposed to feel for him, right? You're supposed to swing. Yeah, well, once once you feel the, the swing, uh, or once you feel him like swimming off with it or something, you know, you just, it's, it's kind of tough actually. I'm, I'm not really sure myself. I would just reel it down, kind okay. of like, you don't even have to have it between your legs if you want to have it like beside you. Okay. I think I'm going to get a better hook set like this. Okay. Yeah, and then just wait for them to really steer, you know, to start. They, they don't bite real hard because they don't swim away with it. They just grab it. I can't tell it's if there's soft bite. They, you're not going to have ever have a sturgeon. Dude, do you have Yep. Are you kidding yep. me? I I miss like five <coughs> fish. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> 
I think so, or else it's a snag. No, no, DJ. Oh, yeah, no, keep real. That might be even a big one. Like, it feels like a snag. Oh, yeah, it feels like a snag, and it's a fish. Wait, yeah, no, he's... No, okay, the signs they get snagged on the ridge. It looks like you still have one, but he's... Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Snagged on the ridge. So you give him just... Yeah, just not quite slack, but yeah... Give yeah, him, like, keep some bowing water. to him a little bit. Out. Should I walk down the... Yeah, maybe walk down a little bit. Maybe the angle on the line. There it is. Oh, you got it. I don't know. It like popped a little bit. Okay. Yeah. See. Look, yeah. See. He took line. So he's just snagged up really well. See. Watch it. Oh, <gasps> that's him right there. What? He just jumped. Yeah. All right, folks, so we have one, two, three white sturgeon fishing rods sitting out. Each one, oh, we only have two out right now. Yeah, the other one is, has a backlash. Ah. Sturgeon on this rod, we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so we have two sturgeon rods out right now. I was gonna say we have three out to maximize our efforts here, but apparently one has a backlash. So we got two sturgeon rods out. Um, I actually just hooked up on one and it got snagged on a rock, so. That's devastating, but I hope that there's gonna be more chances. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Mike is over here working on a primitive smoker, which is pretty sweet. He's doing uh, some smoked trout. And Ace actually already caught a sturgeon today while I was horse hockeying around for my trout. So if you guys wanna see those videos, they're gonna be out probably around the same time that I'm posting this. Yeah. That rod just got a bite though, so Did it, the one on the end? Yeah. Oh, fish on. Oh, it's gone, dude. Wow, oh, that thing just took it too, dude. It's the small bait. So I was just doing a little uh, Instagram live video. If you guys want to follow me there, you can find me at Maverick Joes. But when I was on live, a sturgeon bit my rod. Um, I had a little bit, I had a huge bait on there. I had a whole trout head. I think it might've been a little big. So I cut a big, nice piece of steak off the trout, much like this one right here. And then I actually ended up putting the trout's stomach on there. So I've got a, uh, a nice scented piece of bait down there. So I got all three rods back out again. Hopefully, we can at least catch a pup sturgeon, um, but we still are hoping for that big eight footer. But in the meantime, Doritos. Shoot, I did that way too. No, that's okay, dude. It takes a little practice. In fact, Dang it, dude. Why'd I do that? That's probably the best fight we've gotten all day right there. I'm sorry. No, you're good, dude. Hopefully it'll come back. All right, folks. Well, I've had my swings and misses at some sturgeon today. Um, I ended up catching my trout, but can't make the sturgeon bite. So, appreciate you guys tuning in this episode. Failed the challenge, but, you know... Let me know if you guys have anywhere else that you'd like me to try this challenge, the food chain challenge. Um, whether it be like trying cast netting and catching the bait first, or if you want me to try doing the worm, trout, and the sturgeon again. I don't really know when the next time I'm gonna be able to try this is, but really appreciate you guys tuning in. Until next time, my name's Maverick, and you're in the drill, just keep on trucking. Yeah, how legit like that jerk Jamaican jerk one? The other one's okay. <laughs>